Now, one of the things that we have been seeing, people, a lot of people have been really fascinated and want to find out more about the self-developed autonomous chips about NEO. I mean, recently NEO was asked or certain questions were posed about the self-developed autonomous chip, which a single screen notice that the question came and said, can NEO self-developed chip replace NVIDIA Thor X series chips in terms of performance? Can they match L4 above intelligent driving? Can they match L4 or level 4 and above intelligent driving? If your chips are mass produced in addition to self-supply, is it possible to supply them to other companies and it becomes a business highlight? This was the question that was posed to our CEO William Lee and his response was, well, our chips can completely replace NVIDIA Thor and in some aspects they are even stronger now take note of the fact that neo existing cars are not using nvidia thor they are using nvidia orange chips thor it is the latest autonomous driving chip that nvidia is producing right and someone was asking this to try to find out if the performance of the car of the current uh, self autonomous driving chip that NEO has developed it's better than the latest or the recent NVIDIA Thor chip and this is how he answered so the CEO of NEO further said is the world's first automotive grade 5 NM intelligent driving chip and its performance is very accurate and advanced we will definitely use this chip first and if other companies are willing to use it we will also open it up. So he's saying, obviously, when it comes to this chip, Neo will start utilizing or using this chip first in-house for their models, and they will open it up for other companies if they are interested in on uh, on wanting to use this chip. So this is something that obviously we read today, and this is very important because Neo here is saying, look, this chip can do what Thor chip does and it can even take in some aspects it can even go a bit further or it can take it to the next step which is something that is great and it shows you that those that were saying obviously orange chips are old and all that there is a Thor chips it appears that based off what the neo ceo said here he's saying look they are they are here they are they are together right but obviously there are some aspects that neo chip performs better than nvidia chip thor chip which is something that it's very very important you will know that this autonomous driving chip it will be coming on the latest or on the 2025 neo uh, cars so the et5 touring et5 mid sedan es6 ec6 that will be launched right now in q2 those cars are gonna come with this uh, chip uh, and that is great news because we know that from the models that new is launching this year those that are coming with this chip guess what the gross margins are going to improve because we know already that neo using this chip they are saving like 1380 dollars which is something that is great and something that is very exciting because we know that it had neo used the thought chips then it was going to obviously reduce the gross margins but because neo they're developing this it means that gross margins can improve which is something that is great something that is exciting and it makes me to just want to load the boat so yeah man this is what we read coming from neo this is something that we saw coming from neo hopefully things get better with time hopefully we can get to see neo do well because of these chips tell me what you think about this blue sky is coming long term will win those that are persevering throughout the head of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time i remain long i remain strong on to neo because of things like this because of these kind of latest developments because of the developments that we see coming from neo yes neo might not be a uh, profitable as yet but these kind of initiatives and developments are the one thing that makes me strongly believe that we are going to obviously see neo get to profitability which is actually great which is massive and exciting so yeah man i remain long i remain strong onto neo and those that are persevering throughout the heavens the share price 
will most definitely be rewarded with time. I am bullish on Tudio because I know that we are most definitely going to be rewarded. It might be, yes, right now the, the headwinds are there. People are worried about the net losses of Neo. People are worried that Neo, it might be a bit impossible for them to turn to profitability, especially with the uh, the Q4 after the Q4 earnings. But me, I still believe, I still have hope to see that, look, Neo can turn around this whole game. The more they deliver more cars, the more they, of course, improve on gross margins and cut on their expenses. They, this will help them get to profitability. That's all from me. Blue sky is coming. I will see you on the next one. And God bless you all. Thank mm -hmm. you.